blessed to you. Hallelujah. Amen. If you could rise up on your feet and just begin to uh, express the word of worship before the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, we raise worship before you at this hour in the name of Jesus. We like to acknowledge you as Lord of our life in the name of Jesus. We would like to say you alone are God and there is no one like you, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. There is a rest for the Lord. We ask you that you may have your way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you may touch our lives in the name of Jesus. We would like to acknowledge you as master. The pillar of our lives is who you are, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus. There is a rest for the Lord. There is no God like Jehovah. You are the only true God, self-existing, self-sufficient God, all-knowing and all-powerful. Our hearts are full of appreciation, Lord, for the testimony in the name of Jesus, Son of the living God, that you are God working wonders, God at work. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected the Lord, receive a worship, a receive adoration at this hour in the name of Jesus. Amazing God is who you are. Sovereign King is who you are. The God who inhabits eternity, the God whose name is holy. We lifting up, O oh, oh Lord, worship before you, O oh God, and appreciate you, our God. There is no one like you, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus, to you be the praise and to you be the worship, O oh God. To you be the adoration of my Father. Receive a worship at this hour. This hour, receive a thanksgiving at this hour. You are the Lord, our pillar. The pillar that holds our lives is who you are. You are God. There is no one like you, Jehovah. Master Jesus is who you are. To you be the praise and to you be the worshiper. To you be the adoration and to you be the power. There is no one like you, Jehovah. Receive a worshiper, oh God. The pillar that holds our life. Yes, Lord. You are the pillar. 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 That of all of my life, Master Jesus, you are the pillar. That all of my life, Master Rato se ke te kataba, rato se ke te baba. Oh Lord, we worship. You are the pillar. Yo, oh, we give you the praise. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my life. Jesus, 
to express worship to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh -huh. Oh, we worship you, O King of Heaven. King of Kings, I is who you are. Oh, you reign over all. Yes, Lord, there is no place that you do not have control over. You reign over all. 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 Over all you reign over Oh, yes, Lord, you reign over all. Oh, to you be the praise of God. Yes, Lord. 
Ghost is the greatness, the power and the glory, the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and on earth. Is yours, Lord. Yours is the kingdom, and you are God. I exalt the His hand over all, for the riches and honor comes from you. Of your own, we do give you. You reign on everywhere. There is no place that you do not have a jurisdiction over. You reign everywhere. May you reign in our city. May you reign in our homes. May you reign in this place. Reign, O oh King of glory. Oh, reign, O oh King of heaven. Yes, To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live. Yes, Lord. Jesus, oh Lord, your name is Jehovah. You are the mighty one in battle. You are the great I am, oh God. To worship you, we live, oh God. We live to worship you. We live to adore you, oh God. We live to lift up the name of the majesty of heaven, oh God. Oh King of the heavens, to you be the worship. To you alone be the praise, to you alone be the worship. You alone be the adoration, oh God. There is no one like you, Jehovah. Remain at the same but throughout all ages. Your name is Jehovah. Your name is the mighty. Your name is sovereign. Your name is eternal. There is no one like you, oh God. You reign far above all the people. You reign in excellency. You reign in glory. You reign in beauty. You reign in excellency. You reign far above all the people. You reign far above all other kings of God. You reign over all. The earth is the Lord and his fullness and thereof. The world and they that dwell there. You reign everywhere. You are the king of heaven. You are the king of the earth. You are the king of the earth. You are the prince of the kings of the earth. You are Lord of far above all. To you alone be the worshiper. You are the majesty of heaven, sitting at the right hand of God in heaven, far above all the people, far above principality and power and might 
and dominion and every name that is named oka sata tabasato papa sata bekete rato sata papa sata rato koto bekete kata bakata kato bekete kata bakato sata ria sata bebebe sayata ba mama masato ye kata sito koto do you be the worship Hallelujah to the Most High, the God who is far above, the God who reigns, the God who rules, who rules in the affairs of men, who rules in every kingdom here on earth. The God is sovereign, the powerful God, the only true God, the living God. To you, the worship, to you, the adoration, we worship. Oh yes, Lord, bebe zakaratu. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh! Oh! Oh, King of heaven, I live to worship you. Yes, Lord. Glory to you, my Lord. The God of Parabamo. The God of Parabamo. I worship you, Lord. They give me the praise, Lord. Responding, Lord, to our oh, worship in the name of Jesus. I have come down and brought deliverance in the name of Jesus. That you have come down and brought deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. That you have come down and bring deliverance in the name of Jesus. That we be healing, O King of glory, by the power of God in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. You have come down and brought deliverance. You have responded to our worship, O oh God. You have melted our heart, O oh King of glory. Receive our worship, O oh God. Appreciation of who you are, O oh King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. We give you the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the praise. We give you the glory. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your response to the worship. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. To be fine very soon. I'm just under some attack, but it's on the prayer program we have put up.
In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray for the touch of God over this life in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, we give you glory. In the name of Yeshua, may you touch this life, Lord. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, by the power of God. Riakata koto sekete kereasi ataba Rata sataba basato kete kete Riasato koto sakere ataba In the mighty name of Jesus We give you the praise Lord We give you the glory Lord just read a few scripture and partake of the Holy Communion and pray uh, some of uh, whatever is oppressing people here. Let us understand the power of what we want to partake and then pray in Jesus' name. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 23. Glory, glory. Somebody says there's no volume. It's fine. Okay. Uh, verse 23 says, For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you. Uh, another way, Paul here is saying to the Corinthians, the revelation about the Holy Communion, he didn't take it from anywhere else. He received it directly from the Lord uh, into his life. And is also sharing that with the church in Corinth. Uh, that the Lord Jesus, on the night in which he was betrayed, took bread, verse 24, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. So when we are partaking of this, is we are acknowledging and remembering the Lord Jesus Christ as by his commandment. Amen. Verse 25 says, In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often, verse 26, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. We proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. We'll come back to that scripture shortly. Uh, just maybe to recap with regard to the Holy Communion. In our Christian faith, uh, there is uh, something we call sacrament. Sacrament is almost a ritual or an external thing that we do to reflect the spiritual reality. Now, when we come to the New Testament dispensation, there are two uh, sacraments according to the Bible. We have the sacrament of baptism and we have the sacrament of the Lord's Supper. Are we together? Now, the sacrament uh, of baptism is generally done once in a person's life, generally once. You get baptized once, or some they have been baptized two times is because maybe they realized the way it was done initially was not done correctly, and they want to do it now with this understanding. They want to get baptized. But however, it's done generally once in the life of a person. And if you are not baptized yet, uh, when it's summer, we will organize and announce for registration for baptism so that we can do baptism when it's hot, probably uh, October or so this year. Amen. So baptism is generally done once in a person's life, uh, which is a way of you to identify yourself with what Jesus Christ has done by dying on the cross. Baptism does not save a person. Baptism 
is as a result of salvation. Somebody must be saved first, then they can be baptized. To be baptized is in order for you to be identified with the death, the burial, and the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the reason I say sacrament, the other point you need to put under sacrament is that is what the Lord Jesus Christ instituted himself. Are we together? In the New Testament dispensation. So you will see, for instance, on baptism, it says in Matthew 28, verse 19. Matthew 28, verse 19 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So when we baptize, is in response to the command of the Lord Jesus Christ to fulfill this sacrament. As I say, baptism does not save. It's somebody who has been saved. Now you want to express and show it publicly through baptism. There have been an inward change. Now you want to express it outwardly through baptism by going into the water to say, I am dying to serve and I'm being raised to the newness of life according to Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, the second um, uh, sacrament, which is uh, the Lord's Supper, and is the reason is the Lord's Supper as well is because he instituted himself. And when we read Matthew 26, 26, Matthew 26, 26 quickly, it says, as they were eating, Jesus took bread, bless and profit as they were eating. So it's not a special bread. It's part of the same bread they were eating, but he took a piece now out of the same bread they were eating and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. So that I'm saying that for uh, because it is the understanding behind what we do that is very critical. It's not a special bread we will order from Jerusalem or from Israel or from somewhere. It's the same bread we eat. And in this case, uh, we're doing biscuits now up until maybe when we are back to level zero, we will have bread. It's biscuit. So it's the same thing we eat. Is the same bread we eat. It is the same bread they were eating. Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it. Now one has to now understand the revelation behind that is that when he has broken that bread and blessed it, it's no longer the ordinary bread. Now he says and blessed and broke and gave it to the disciple and said, take it, this is my body. So it is no longer the bread from spa or the biscuit from pick and pay. It is now representing the body of Jesus Christ. So that revelation must be beyond that when I am partaking of the bread, this bread is symbolizing the body of Jesus Christ. This blood, this juice is representing the blood of Jesus. It is no longer ordinary juice from spa. It has now become a representation of the blood of Jesus. So when I take it with that understanding, it's so that I can experience the power that is beyond Holy Communion. If I just partake it like that with no understanding, it is the same as I buy bread and juice and I eat. Are we together? So they have to be a revelation behind it. Verse uh, 27. Verse 27 says, Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, say, Drink from it, all of you. 28. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shared for the remission, for the, which is shared for many for the remission of sins. So the same cup they were eating, remember they are having a supper, now it starts turn into the Lord's Supper by introducing the symbolism of what will happen the next day, him dying on the cross of Calvary. And he's bringing this revelation to them. Are we together? So when we are partaking of the Holy Communion, it's not the bread. They have to be a revelation that this bread is no longer ordinary bread. This juice is no longer ordinary juice. But these two tokens are symbolism 
of the broken body of Jesus Christ and of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. So that when, because it is broken, when it comes to me, I need to have wholeness. Because the blood, then I have to in, uh, experience remission of sin. Anything that is within me that is not in line with the word of God has to be washed away by the power of the blood that has come into my body in the name of Jesus. Are we together? So when we go back to verse 26, uh, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty-six, 26, it says, For as often as you eat, 26, as often as you eat this bread, and this is say as often as, you can do it many times, but as a church, the culture that we have is that the first Sunday of the month, we partake of the Holy Communion. And you are not restricted to have only Holy Communion when you are at church. At your home, when you feel that based on what you are praying, you are trusting God, let me partake of the Holy Communion. So with the same revelation, at your place, you can have Holy Communion. Or even here, any time we can have, though the culture is every first Sunday, but they can be Sunday number three, God say partake, we partake. We ca because we cannot restrict God. Are we together? So as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, what are you doing? You are proclaiming the Lord's death till he comes. There have to be that acknowledgement that the Lord Jesus Christ died on that cross of Calvary. Not for himself, but for you and me. He died on that place so that our lives may be changed. Anybody who believes in him, they are way to hell has been diverted now and they become followers of God because they have embraced and proclaimed what has happened on the cross of Calvary. And when he was dying there, he was bruised, he was humiliated and and all of these things is going for you and me. So that when you have understanding, then you know there were divine exchange happening there. The shame put on him. Let me uh, living in, in honor. The pain that he went in there. Let me my body recover. The sickness that was put on him on the cross of Calvary. So anything that is in disorder in my body, as I partake of the Holy Communion, let there be divine exchange in the name of of Jesus. Is there a pain in my body? Is there a growth in my body? Is there a disorder in my bed? As he hanged on the cross being beaten, being whipped, he took all these things on him so that they may be exchanged upon everyone who will believe in him. So when I have that understanding, I know when I partake of the Holy Communion, my back is sore, but let there be healing because this pain was hanged on the cross. The shame was hanged on the cross. The pain were hanged on the cross. The humiliation were hanged on the cross. The beating were hanged on the cross. My sins were hanging on the cross. Everything that were in disorder were hanged on the cross. Even him on the cross, he said, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Because everything in terms of wrong, in terms of the humanity sin, has been put on Christ. Even God himself at that moment could not look upon Christ because anything wrong concerning humanity was was put on Christ Jesus. Now you and I, anyone who believe in God, the exchange has happened. The pain has been hanged on the cross. The sickness have been hanged on the cross. The shame and humiliation have been hanged on the cross. Anything that is not in line with the word of God that has frustrated had been hanged on the cross. Even the witchcraft power we are praying here again, even on that same cross Colossians chapter 2 verse 15 say it is harm principality and power and made the public spectacle of them by triumphing over them on it, meaning on the cross of Calvary. Colossians 2 verse 15 why? Because we pray with the authority of the name of Jesus that any activity of darkness frustrating somebody's life, let that activity be defeated because on the cross is part of the benefit that there is victory. On the cross is part of the benefit that there is healing. Hence, first uh, Peter chapter 2, verse 24. By whose stripe we were healed, not we are healed. We were healed. Isaiah 53 says, We are healed. Isaiah is prophesying. But Paul Peter, when he's writing, Jesus has already died. Hence, he says, We were healed. First Peter 4, 2, verse 4. Maybe those are the ones who will pray as they come. In the name of of Jesus. First Peter 2 verse 4. We were healed 
is there anything in the body not in line with the word of God? First Peter chapter 2, verse 24. Glory. By whose trial? 24. By whose trial you were healed? Past tense. You were healed. Because the sickness was also hanged on the cross. Is there something in the, uh, that is not in order in the body? Let us partake of the Holy Communion and invoke God for the healing to manifest in the name of Jesus. Is there any torment because of foundational power? Let us invoke God that the victory may manifest in the name of Jesus. Are we together? Hallelujah. We're going to partake of this. Uh, I'm not going to save you today. Uh, I have to save Holy Communion, but I don't want any of you to get through. Hallelujah. So you come and get it here from the table after this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we commit this token before you. We declare by the power of, in the name of Jesus, and by reason of this revelation we have shared with your people. Every single biscuit here and the Jews are no longer ordinary biscuit and Jews. We declare them sanctified to represent the body of Jesus Christ that was our bruised so that somebody's body here may be made whole. They choose to represent the shed blood of Jesus Christ for the remission of somebody's sin. And anything, even as we have prayed, that has hanged in terms of negative word, by the power of the blood, let the word be reversed. The negative word be nullified in the name of Jesus. As we partake of this, Lord, let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. So you will come and, and, and get the juice and, and the bread. And go back to your seat, and then uh, we'll follow the instructions. Then we'll partake and pray. Amen. Please come and get. Save your brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Please rise up on your feet in Jesus' name. With what we have shared, when you partake of this, let that be in your heart and begin to pray whether it's healing, whether it's deliverance, whether it's whatever you are trusting God as this comes in the name of Jesus. Wherever there is shame, let double honor come in the name of of Jesus. Have the biscuit first, then the juice. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you praise. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. Anybody who is not well in their body, we declare that the healing power of God is beginning to manifest in the name of Jesus. 
any pain in anybody's body. We command the pain to go by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord. Anybody going in whatever distress, shame, Lord. We declare, let there be divine exchange. Let double honor come. According to Isaiah 61 verse 7, in the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, anybody under demonic oppression, we command deliverance by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord, anybody, Lord, in our midst that are not well internally or on an external part of their body, we command the healing power of God by the power in the mighty name of Jesus, Son of the living God. Anybody at any door knocking for an opening we declare and let the door begin to open by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, anybody trusting you for employment, Lord, as we are praying in this place, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we are praying with your people. Hear the testimony, Lord, you have opened door in the name of Jesus. I pray anybody in our midst, Lord, that do not have employment, may the God of Israel begin to respond by the power in the name of Jesus. Let the career door open by the power of God in the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord. Let there be promotion into somebody's life. In the name of Jesus, may somebody's star of destiny to rise up and shine now by the power in the name of Jesus. You will not be denied. You will not be denied. You will not be denied any longer by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of God. Somebody must be behind that lady. Koro sata kataba sataba. Bekeria sataba baba. Arasata koto. Bekeria sataba baba. Makoto sakata riakata kataba bekeria sata baba makata kata sato yekeria sata you shall not be denied by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody be delivered. Let somebody be healed. Let somebody recover in the name of Jesus, the resurrected Lord. Arise, O men of war. Let your enemies against your people begin to scatter. 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 By the power in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverance. We pray deliverance. 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 By the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody be delivered. Let somebody be rescued from witchcraft power. Foundation power power if a word be erased by the power in the blood of Jesus the superior blood 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 the blood of covenant the blood of Jesus may you erase a negative word negative identity against your people negative word that you shall not get married let that word be erased negative word that you will amount to nothing let those words be erased. Negative word that you will not excel. Let those words be erased by the power in the name of Jesus. Negative word that will remain a poor all your life. We declare those words by divine authority. They are hereby reversed by the power. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus. We declare double honor now over this life. Let it be double honor. By the power of God in the name of Jesus, instead of shame, may they clear double honor in the name of Yeshua. May say unto Rata Kata, Bekeria Sata, Rato Sata, in the mighty name of Jesus. Double honor, Lord. May there be a testimony here of double honor in your life that the Lord has honored you two times, twice, in the name of Jesus, His Son. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Father, we pray for every life here. We commit them before you. Our children, we commit them before you. May you be the preserver of life and the sustainer of the same. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, as you can see, time is uh, uh, gone.